Hi guys, so I'm going to do the demo I did in class that you can easily do also at home. So here I have a magnifying glass that I got at the dollar stores. It's a converging lens, that is it's a convex lens. And if I am, so that's my screen here and you can see the outside. Okay, you see the outside that is far away. You can see it upside down here on the screen. So the image is inverse. It's going to be real because it can be displayed on the screen. And what's in in interesting about it is that the distance between the screen and the lens, that's, that's going to be the focal length. So that's one way to find the focal length in a very, very fast and easy way. See, you can try to focus, you see the building upside down. So that means that parallel rays coming from far away are all going to converge at a single point. Okay, So every single point from far away is converging at a single point here at the focal, at the focal point at the focal distance. Hi guys, so that's going to be the same converging lens and now the object here is inside the focal length okay so smaller that distance here is smaller than the focal length so that converging lens is now able to magnify see it's magnifying so that means the image that you see is in the same same uh, size than the the object right so it's a virtual image that your eye is able to see and that image is upright okay it's not upside down it's hey guys so here's another demo i did in class so i still have my converging lens here you have the object which is uh, just a, a arrow and it's pointing to in this direction right so for me it's to the left and now you have the screen here you ha there is nothing on the screen just uh, light for my computer but now i'm going to place the lens in between the computer and the screen and you see that now the arrow is pointing to the right right I mean the opposite so for me here it was pointing in this direction and now the the arrow here is pointing in the opposite direction so what do I get I get uh, image which is real because it can be displayed on the screen and it's inverted and it's smaller right so I could move, for example, if I if I move my computer, if I move the computer closer, um, you see the arrow here is getting it's getting larger. Okay, and if I move it really really close, now I don't see anything because you have a virtual image. Very close, I cannot cannot get anything here. You see, it's still real, inverted, and in that case, bigger because the distance between the object and the lens is in between two times the focal length. Guys, okay, so you see that I could also replace the, the lens, I could replace it with um, a water here inside that container and it will also uh, behave like a converging lens because it's not perfect, but I still get the image here on my of uh, the arrow, and it's pointing to the opposite direction that I have here on my screen, which is the object. So here I get an image which is smaller, inverted, but it's real. Another thing that you can do, which is fun, and another thing that uh, is fun to do. You see this arrow here is pointing to the left. And that's an experiment that was given by uh, a student of mine. His name is Alex. So here it's pointing in this direction. Now if you look through the, the glass here, which is filled with water, it's pointing in the opposite direction, right? So that means you get an image inverted, an inverted image. And this is behaving like a converging lens.